Future City Competition, 7th and 8th grade students designing cities of the future. The students have five deliverables uh, for the competition, and that is the scale model, the computer model, uh, research paper, uh, and the subject of the research paper changes every year. And then they also write a Chamber of Commerce uh, view of their city. Why would someone want to live there? Why would someone want to visit their city? And then they do a team presentation. So this year they researched on making their cities have uh, sustainable water systems for every housing unit. So they had to figure out what they could do, you know, to, that every house had their own self-sufficient water system, which was kind of interesting. We had to do a lot of re research for that. Another really great thing is we have engineer mentors have to come in and work with the students, and the kids have loved it. We do some research and we think about what would the future be like, and then we kind of put it all together to make a city. We want to save resources and reuse them and just put it all together to make just a city that helps people. Mostly their models are built out of um, recycled materials, so they start saving all their garbage at home and bringing it in and trying to transform it into buildings. And then, you know, they do have done a lot of research on futuristic, well, technologies now and kind of cutting edge technologies, trying to see what would be possible in the future. And they try to incorporate that into their cities. These little pods, they could fit like um, about 8,000 homes for families. Yeah, and then up here, this spot is for like picnics, like. And then the middle of the part right here is a park. And then people can also be right there. And the way people get up here is there's like this little transporter thing right there, and it takes you all the way up there. Well, I think the students learn several things about themselves. The ability and their capability to imagine, to dream, and then uh, create a reality around that imagination. Um, the competition provides no boundary conditions. Uh, and the solutions that they create um, are, are pretty lively. They, they, uh, uh, they come up with ideas that you and I may never have imagined. It's a wonderful project. I'm just surprised that more schools really aren't involved in Future City because it's just it's so engaging for the students. You know, it's not like you have to say, now we're doing math, now we're doing science. They're just excited about learning and being involved in it. The most fun part for me was like mostly everything is fun, but just being out here and learning new things and just being like meeting new friends and just having the opportunity to be here. You see here through the uh, competition the creativity of the students, and it's not just you know, the, the, the best students, you know, just, it's not a program for only the gifted students. We have students that have an academic uh, capability that runs the spectrum. I think I like that. I, I don't think I like that. I, I love that. For the best integrated design, that award goes to Bill Lepage and Bill Leonard.